Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk about all the C words cartels, collusion, cheating, competition law. Now, this uh, section is a little bit less fact based, it's a lot of uh, theory, a lot of, uh, I guess you could say, less hard facts, more uh, ideas. Um, We'll start off with the first word. Um, businesses, uh, what they like to do is they like to collude through cartel. Now, governments, economists, consumers are very scared of this because what um, colluding through cartel means is conspiring to deceive others through the association of suppliers um, and what this does is for example uh, with OPEC it's basically an international cartel that uh, acts like a monopoly but actually they consist of about 12 member countries uh, each part of this cartel and what they do is they collude they trick others by uh, getting together and restricting the supply of oil. Now the demand of oil is very high and when they're restricting the supply of oil each year, what this does is it drives up the price of oil. Now um, during recessions uh, through uh, conservative uh, like such as like e like uh, ecological conservative uh, initiatives, um, other oil companies. What this does is it brings down the price of oil, and during recession, when people can't afford afford gas, uh, the price it just falls, the demand falls, and OPEC they can't raise their prices. So what they do is they secretly they increase their supply and this causes the price to fall even more because as soon as one person decreases supply then all uh, sorry increases supply then all of them start increasing supply and through demand and supply we know with increased supply there comes a decrease in price um, a more accurate would be increase the quantity of supply and decrease price because uh, supply is uh, affected by everything other than price so um, in 1889 what the government introduced the uh, antitrust or anti combines laws and this prevented companies like biscuit coffins you know fire insurance companies from getting together, talking about prices, and creating little associations or cartels. Now, because of these laws, because of the anti-trust uh, laws, sorry, it became very hard to figure out if the other people were cheating or not. And this led to a lot less uh, trust, which uh, led to these guys breaking their agreements. Now, as we know, through uh, Nash Equilibrium, uh, everybody acts in their self-interests, everybody cheats, and uh, they would have been better off just cooperating, but because they can't trust each other, uh, their best option, their smartest option, is to cheat. Um, today, this law is called the Competition Act of 18, 1986 and its official intent is to maintain and encourage competition in Canada in order to promote efficiency and, adapt and, ad and adaptability of the Canadian economy. However, it's hard to distinguish between competitive and collusive behavior. Um, so, uh, What competitive behavior is, is uh, an active attempt to increase profits in order to gain a monopoly. And it's kind of hard to distinguish between collusive behavior, which is 
uh, cheating on others because both ways we have an increased price so it's kind of like it's, it's kind of hard to figure out if it's actually collusive or competitive behavior um, but the competition act is it addresses this really fine line by distinguishes two kinds of anti-competitive offenses um, there are criminal offenses and civil offenses so criminal offenses being price fixing bid rigging false advertising and civil offenses which are mergers abusing dominant market positions or anything that lessens competition um, What the Competition Act does is it ex it raises the cost of businesses um, price fixing or bid rigging or false advertising relative to the expected benefits, which are profits. So by increasing cost and decreasing benefits, uh, businesses are s make smarter decisions by not doing these things. Um, Criminal offenses are punished by prison time and fines. Um, but see, with fines, it raises the expected cost of price fixing. But the problem is, is that a fine that would be high enough to deter these acts, they could actually cripple the business. And if the, cri the business is gone, then the competition is reduced, which is not what we want. And it also it also ends up with unemployment and uh, decrease sales for suppliers. Um, another way, another way they uh, punish criminal offenses is by prison time. So they throw the uh, business executives into prison, and uh, they offer them reduced sentences um, if they uh, if they basically rat out. If they tell the government about the cartel, they will get less prison time uh, and this sets up the Nash equilibrium again uh, because uh, the bigger the prison time the more likely you are going to be to just you know um, let the government know that hey I was doing this cartel uh, let me out faster um, also civil offenses are also punished by fines which I described and they're also uh, punished by legal prohibitions and legal prohibitions um, they first determine what happens is in legal prohibitions when you have companies trying to merge there's something called the competition tribunal and the competition tribunal first they determine okay well if these guys merge will it lessen competition and that's the cost the cost is when two companies merge it will lessen competition. That's a fact, and that's the cost. But however, if the merger can actually get increased efficiency through economies of scale, because now they have more, uh, s more subscribers, more quantity, more uh, people buying their stuff, so it it spreads out the average total cost, and that's the benefit. The benefit is we have more efficiency, greater efficiency lower average cost that's the benefit now if um, the cost is greater than the benefit if there's more competition being decreased then there is efficiency being increased then uh, there will be a legal prohibition and they will not be able to merge however if the merge will it will uh, increase efficiency more than it will lessen competition then yes they will be allowed to merge and everybody's happy because now we have uh, lesser prices lower prices um, and that's what we want we want lower prices for consumers we don't want uh, these corporations from charging more than they should be, and cheating us and uh, deceiving consumers. Uh, hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, we'll see.
see you again in 9.4, which is the regular regulatory agencies in Canada.